Now, you may have seen a video I made a couple of weeks ago about a tool called Notebook LM from Google, which allows you to upload your own documents and an AI is trained on those documents. I was talking in the video about how this is really helping my son who is dyslexic with his homework and these knowledge organizers as he can then go in and sort of ask questions, get it to summarize and explain things a little bit easier. But it has had a recent update that just takes things to a whole new level. Let me show you. So as you can see here, I've uploaded my son's PE knowledge organizer. The AI is now trained on that document. My son can go in, ask sort of questions, get it to summarize things, quiz him on different parts of the, the document. You can then generate study guides, briefing docs, timelines, depending on the type of document. But you'll see there is this audio overview. And when you tap that, what happens is it takes the document you've uploaded and turns it into a podcast. All right, so today we're diving deep into the world of sports, cracking open a treasure trove of knowledge. So my son will listen to those podcasts to just go over all of the information from this knowledge organizer, which just makes it a little bit more accessible for him. But this new update, which I'm really impressed with, is this interactive mode. And when you tap that, again, you can listen to the podcast Right, so today we're diving deep into the world of but then if you tap join, you can interrupt and ask it a question. Rules, tactics, you name it. Oh, wait. Someone wants to join. Hey, go for it. Hi, can you tell me all of the starting positions for a team in a game of netball? Oh, hey there. Absolutely. I can totally help you with that. Yeah, let's break down those netball positions. It's a good example of how important individual roles can be to a team. Okay, so in netball, you have seven players on the court and each one has a specific position and a role to play and restrictions on where they can go. Exactly, it's not like in some sports where players can just roam all over. This is what gives the game its structure. Right, so first off we have the goal shooter, or GS. This player is mainly in the shooting. Hey, yeah, what's up? So if I'm someone who wants to play the position of goal shooter, what attributes and skills do I need to be able to do it effectively? That's a fantastic question, okay, so if you're aiming to be a goal shooter in netball, there are a few key things you'll need to focus on. Yeah, the goal shooter, or GS, is a key scoring position. And to be effective, you'll need to have a mix of physical and technical skills. How flipping impressive is that?